Pregnancy is going well. I'm just kind of uncomfortable. Bloated, be crampy sometimes. Carly horses. Just ended my two meetings that felt like two hours. Plan on working for as long as I can, as, as feasible. You know, I've got two French Bulldogs and then I have a baby coming. My morning routine really starts at night. Okay guys, <clears throat> so I am so exposed right now. I look so crazy, but yeah, that's the reality. I usually get in to bed anywhere from 7.30 to 9 p.m. on most nights because I am just so tired from the day, but I also wanna be able to have enough energy at work. It's truly getting harder now that we are coming up really close to the expected delivery date and sleeping is very uncomfortable. I don't have the pregnancy pillow yet. I refuse to get the <clears throat> pregnancy pillow because for the most part, I'll sleep around three to four hours straight and then I'll get up to use the restroom and some nights it's three to four times a night and then sometimes I go only twice in a night. So it just depends on my sleep level, hydration, all of that. But I am getting in and now I'm going, Did my I did my body shower tonight. Um, today is not a hair wash day, but I usually will wash my hair in the morning anyway after a workout, I would say four, three to four times a week, I will get up before work and do a 30 minute walk, either with my dogs or I will just walk on my walking pad. Um, because I work from home, it is a little bit more flexible. So if I'm not having any morning meetings, I will also uh, go outside with my dogs and just do a quick 20 minute walk. I'm trying to go to bed early so that I can get some exercise in, some movement in in the morning. So going to bed at 8 p.m. in that range is super important. And I've realized that my insomnia is also getting pretty terrible. So if I'm just on my phone scrolling or watching YouTube, which I love to do, then it will just keep me up and take hours and hours to fall asleep. So I have been reading on my Kindle here and I'm reading right now Rock, Paper, Scissors and it's actually pretty good. I'm on page 51 and I'm just gonna continue reading that and that usually does the trick just because my mind is not focused on social media or a screen or text messages or email or whatever it is on my phone and yeah so we're gonna go to bed now i'm gonna read and we are going to then tomorrow i'll show you guys realistically pretty much the full day probably up until lunch um, my routine working from home full-time job with french bulldogs eight months pregnant. So hope you guys enjoy.
Hey, you want to go to your spot? Okay guys, while the water's boiling, I'm gonna unload dishes and just tidy up this area here. Magic feeling we tore down the wall. Wish I could go back right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now, could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're part. Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again I just know Hey guys, good morning! Oh, it's now 7.45 and I had a late start today because I usually I wanted to wake up at 6 and I did wake up at 6 but I was in some foggy dream state. I, I felt like I was, I just could not get up. So I decided to sleep in today. I usually start work around 7.38, I logged in at 7.25, so that's the good thing about working from home. And you saw that I just, you know, had my vitamins. I always take prenatal and a probiotic in the morning. But yeah, so.
I was saying I had a late start, uh, had my vitamins, and I have a meeting in an hour and 10 minutes ish. So I will do like five minutes of light makeup and catch you guys up on my kind of pregnancy routine. I am home. Next week I'll be eight months pregnant and I am feeling the fatigue. You guys saw last night. I did try to go to bed at like 8, 15, but I always read in bed for at least like 20, 30 minutes. So I did that and then I was falling asleep, but then I uh, made the mistake of going on my phone. And then I think I ultimately fell asleep around 9.45 and then I wanted to really get up by 6. But some nights I wake up a ton to use the restroom and I'm really groggy in the morning. So I decided to sleep in, catch up, get some sleep for the baby girl. And it was awesome. Good morning, first thing I do is make my bed. Uh, I just old habit from the military and it's just, I don't think I've ever missed it. I know some people on YouTube will just make the bed for the video, but it's really quick as you guys saw. It takes less than two minutes to pull it up because I don't do anything fancy with my bed. Um, so that really helps me with my mental state for the rest of the day, just having a clean bedroom. And then I always do some light makeup. It just depends, like with working from home, you know, you can kind of squeeze it in whenever. You don't have to do it right away, which is so, so nice. I just, I, honestly, to the, all the pregnant moms that are out there working in office every day, which I do sometimes miss the office, don't get me wrong, but if you are, in office kudos to you guys seriously I, I don't know if i could do it to be honest um i'm so so blessed to be working from home full time and and have a decent salary so yeah that's really it and uh, i want to also say thank you guys so much for all the love on my last video my sephora haul i have so much makeup that's why i do my makeup every day for the most part i will skip maybe one or two days in the week when I just have no reason to be leaving the house, no meetings, et cetera, et cetera. But we always usually leave the house or have errands to run or whatever. And today, actually, my husband uh, is working from home. So he took care of the dogs this morning. And uh, you saw Booth, he came in to sleep. Um, Job was out in the living room sleeping. So I'll bring him in here too. And really it I really have this ooh. I'm not really like hungry hungry in the morning but I do need to eat something so I always have I'm obsessed with nuts strawberries bananas and these soft chili bars from Costco something kind of sweet whether that's like a Nutri-Green which has a ton of sugar so I don't have that first thing in the morning but I love having some sort of fruit. I'm obsessed with watermelon, blueberries, and strawberries at the moment. And I just kind of always have that in the fridge, easy to grab, and then I will have that. And then I will have one cup of coffee. And I use a Starbucks instant coffee, which is about 130 milligrams of caffeine. And you are allowed up to 200. And I don't have it every day, but I allow myself to have a cup, especially in third trimester, and I have a lot of work sometimes, and I really want to stay focused during the eight to nine hours that I'm working for my job and for meetings. So that's that. So I'm going to uh, finish up. I'm gonna just do my quick to-do list for today. And then I'm going to go do like 10 minutes of makeup and then get ready for this uh, 9 a.m. meeting. So I will see you guys when I am doing some makeup.
I'm gonna put him on his own bed. He might need a donut. I have 40 minutes to my next meeting and so I want to get this done in like 15 minutes or less <clears throat> my makeup because we have to I like to put the camera on it's our whole team so I want to put cameras on and yeah so I need a better setup here because my vanity is getting a lot more crowded so I will be replacing this mirror I got it off Amazon and it's not good because it does take AA batteries, but it's just like not bright enough. So that's why I had to use one of my old like l ring light tripods, which is so clunky. And it's just uh, not the best setup. So comment down below if you guys have any suggestions on vanity mirrors with a light that is really bright. And I don't have to have additional lighting really uh, to do my makeup. As you guys know, I just did so much damage to my wallet, buying so much makeup, and I have so many other products as well to use, and I'm trying to empty all the Project Pan stuff, so you guys will see here me using a lot of those products. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Pregnancy is going well. I'm just kind of uncomfortable a lot, bloated, gassy, crampy sometimes. Not as much on the cramps. And then I also get Charlie horses two or three times a week while I sleep, which is like the most awful sore pain, but I've figured out how to kind of combat it. I bought magnesium oil spray, which I will put up here and link down below for those that are pregnant and dealing with it. I don't know if it's just the placebo effect, but I am seriously I think it works and then I just drink a lot of water and I take a magnesium pill. I'm trying not to actually take too many vitamins besides the prenatal and I know the prenatal at this stage is not mandatory. I made some um, improvements to my room which I can show you guys if I have time. Just using this Kosas concealer which is also part of my project pan and it is almost done. I'm just gonna do concealer and some Lumi Glotion. Tiny pump of Airbrush Flawless. Uh, that's been really good, um, but, and, oh, you guys saw my skincare routine this morning. I'm telling you, I barely have any breakouts anymore because I've got my skincare down lock, and I really think it's because of all the Tatcha products, like really clean ingredients and not overdoing it. You guys saw, like, sometimes I don't do that. I just do like any sort of like kind of moisturizing serum. Like you can literally get those off Amazon for $10 and just nothing that has like harsh ingredients. Like a hyaluronic is great for you. And I just add that in sometimes. Like I don't do it every morning or evening. And that's really helped. Uh, making sure you really clean in the shower at night off all your makeup. And that's just really helped. My diet has been pretty clean. So far, I mean, obviously on the weekends I do splurge and then um, I've been drinking a lot of warm water in the morning, like every morning, because I don't like the shock of cold water. I drink about like, four of these a day now, even though it's super annoying using the restroom. Like I said, I don't know how moms that are going in the office do it, because I go pee 
probably three times a day, 20 to 30 times a day I'm in the bathroom. So that is probably the most annoying part of this whole pregnancy. But you know what? I'm so, so excited for her to come. Um, like I said, I'm almost 32 weeks pregnant, about eight months. I try to eat healthy because I do need to watch my sugar because I am borderline on the gestational diabetes, which is really messed up. Like some days I'm like not even close with my blood sugar, but I don't know what it is. But they do want to like retest me, I think, next week. So we will see. I have makeup for a reason. I gotta use it. So I'm just putting a little Charlotte Tilbury. And I need to hustle. It takes me less than 10 minutes. Sometimes five minutes. But I really desperately just need my brows done. Brows, light eyeshadow, eyeliner, and um, honestly that's all you really need. So I'll be right back with the brows on. Okay, I'm back guys. Um, we are almost out of battery, so... You probably won't see me finish up, but I just did my brows with NYX eyebrow pencil and then I'm gonna just glue it down with Anastasia here. But yeah, like I, I wanted to just talk really quick. Today I've got three meetings, two meetings in a row, then a meeting this afternoon, and then I have to work on some uh, construction contracts and uh, work with my customer a little bit um, on some questions that came back. And then I have to study for a certification that I'm trying to get in the construction world. And I'll be studying for that, maybe 40 minutes. And then uh, just really just a nice work day. I'm gonna be pretty busy, but I end early today at 3 p.m. Another thing I wanna talk about, which I'm obsessed with Olivia Jarvis right now, and she is super into marathon training and running. And I just love her energy and I love her videos. So like I have already done three half marathons uh, back in the, my early 20s, well, early to mid 20s and uh, pregnant. I didn't want to, I chose not to really run vigorously at all this whole pregnancy, especially third trimester, not running. Uh, I do do walks and like little jogging, but not anymore, just walking now. So I am so excited that my husband and I are going to be signing up for a half marathon after I give birth. Uh, it'll probably six to eight months after because we're gonna be pretty busy with the baby but that's gonna be coming to the channel and I've always been a cardio person I did do cross-country in school and I've was in the military so running was just part of our everyday life and it was just a huge community there so I am so so excited to get back to running I was running five to six miles before I got pregnant and can't wait to get back there. So look forward to that kind of content. So literally, I know it looks like I did a lot with my eyes, but I didn't. I literally put this. Buyer have to update it. Well, they updated. So when you updated your your notes and IAS. Oh, okay. Here. You know what I'm seeing is the notes, but the action that you can't really tell. It's notes, so. Finally, it's ten oh seven, guys. I just ended my two meetings that felt like two hours, but it was fun. Good banter and um, good stuff shared at my branch meeting. So I was, that was great. So now I've got 
three hours till my next meeting. I am a team lead and I'm meeting with one of my um, direct reports who needs some help. So I will be helping her through that and she just recently joined our team. So um, we have like a little office hour set up. And then I just finished all my food, my snacks, the banana and all that. For lunch, we're gonna make salmon and some brown rice. And I'll show you guys that and then but that's really it so that's really my morning routine pretty much five days a week um, I really wanted to walk on my walking pad today but I usually get around anywhere from like 5,000 to 10,000 steps just walking the dogs and walking around the ha house every day so that's all right I can always do a quick 20 minute walk uh, after I get some work done so that'll be really nice and I am so blessed guys to work from home full time and be able to kind of mitigate the worst parts of pregnancy which is like going to the bathroom all the time you know wearing tight work clothes and stuff like that so I don't have to do any of that so I'm really, really blessed and grateful for my job. I love my job and I am considered kind of a technical expert and in a supervisory team lead role. So I feel really empowered and I have a lot of autonomy. So that has been so, so awesome. And that's really all of it. And I am sure things are gonna change and my symptoms are gonna get crazier. Um, but for now, I feel really good and I have to do those steps in the morning to really have a, for a good day and set myself up for success uh, because I plan on working for as long as I can as, as feasible you know I've got two French Bulldogs and then I have a baby coming and I know that's gonna be stressful and it's gonna take a lot of time and I don't want to like miss out on my child's childhood and stuff but working from home definitely helps me uh, think far in the future and be able to extend the time that I am full-time in the workforce and I really am thankful for that so look forward to more content I think I'll be posting my empties video this Saturday I will be posting this on Wednesday which is tomorrow so I'm gonna definitely get at least two videos out a week if possible my second Sephora order is coming in the mail and I also ordered from Ulta and seriously guys I will be on a no buy now because I have so much makeup and so many skincare products to last me and I think we're actually going to try to buy very little to nothing maybe one to five products before November's sale because I actually love splurging during that time of the year and I want it to be special and, and meaningful and I probably won't even get that much because baby girl will be here and I'll be probably like thinking of a hundred other things than hoarding makeup and skincare although probably not because I love doing that and I love showing you guys so look forward to that we go to Aspen it very soon here and I'll be filming and vlogging that doing some get ready with me's room tours what we eat in Aspen all of that so if you would like the video it really goes a long way and I really appreciate it and if you guys like the content on my channel I would love for you guys to subscribe and join the family so thank you for watching and see you next time bye Guys, I was craving some salmon for lunch. Got this at Costco pre-cut because I was pretty lazy. And yeah, I just seasoned with garlic, salt and pepper, onion powder, and some red chili flakes, and a lot of oil and butter. I know it's not the most healthy way to cook salmon, but I am so hungry. And that's what I was craving.
And to offset, I made some brown rice in my rice cooker. So that's 13 minutes left. And just put together a really quick mixed greens spring mix salad. And I'm gonna have some olive oil and lemon juice for my dressing. So that is gonna be honestly probably the biggest meal of the day as my stomach gets really full easily. You guys, I just flipped the salmon and nothing came apart. I'm so proud of it. So the key is to put your heat on to like a medium going into high heat and just letting it sit for about seven minutes on each side. And then I also grow on the sides as well. 